I always miss that. Surprise. Yeah, um, in this stage, you definitely want to try to get up as high as you can. That way, when you, if you do fall, you have time to catch yourself. Usually, there's something that you can land on. Like yeah. That. So, like this right here, you can just take a run and a, a leap of faith off that top one. Yeah. And hopefully, you can land on something. Usually, there should be something. Just, um, right there, see? Jeez. Now, just take your time. Because there'll, there'll be bad. a woolly on one of those leaves. All right. Some of this reminds me of, uh, was it Taz and Tasmania, was it? No, it's Taz and Ta uh, the one with Marsh and, dang it. Yeah, well, one of the Taz and Tasmania games. Escape from Mars. Escape from Mars. Another leap of faith. Just run and jump and... I'll just keep floating to the right. Oh. Because that way, at least you'll get closer to the end. Otherwise, right on a checkpoint. That's nice. I keep landing Careful, on the checkpoint. Careful, there's a spaceship. Every time you can hear that, they <laughs> no. Then they'll fly off uh, out of nowhere and nail you. Nice. Wow. This I think is a leap of faith. So just run and I'm just gonna check. Take a peep, see, and then just run and fly. Down. Look down, you dork. Down. Look at that. Stupid. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> oh, I was at the right at the end. Wait, I gotta collect as many balls as I can. It's a lot easier to play this game when you don't have to go to the bathroom. Yeah, when I was watching some Look at of that. that. Yeah, it'll just come right at you. It's weird that he just starts floating around with what the bobcat does. In some of the playthroughs I was watching, Bubsy's voice sounds really weird, but mostly because I think they filmed the television screen and they didn't have any bass, and two, um, it was really compressed, so you couldn't really understand him. It's really a lot better just actually playing the game, you can understand better what he's saying, but it's still muffly, it's still that classic, like, 16-bit, like, all it is is bass in the voice, and, well, hey, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. What do you say? Yeah, it's throwing, this guy's dropping eggs and then throwing eggs at the same time. Two, three. Jeez. Come on! Probably not how I would have done it, but I probably would have died anyway. Look at it. And then this guy's dropping eggs too. They fall out an arc. Nothing but eggs everywhere. Also, the, the physics look a lot more shoddy when you're just watching it, but when you're actually playing it, it, it's not that bad. Like, also, it's a cartoon. Like, it's got cartoon physics. You know, it's not gonna be 100% realistic. Like, oh, the critics didn't like it, I'm gonna, not gonna like it either. I'm gonna hop on the bandwagon of not liking it. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't wanna be stupid, I don't wanna contradict the critics. Critics know everything. Yeah, was it Electronic Gaming Monthly did something like that? They voted it? Yeah, pretty much everybody, like, it was like the most hyped. It was like it was the most hyped, and then it was the most disappointing because they said it had terrible graphics, a shoddy, shoddy uh, effect, not graphics, but a shoddy physics, and it was a Sonic ripoff. They said, and they, they said the controls were bad, which the thing is with any game, that's kind of a cool line there. You have to get used to the controls. Seriously, I mean, if it's bad controls, well, maybe it's a user error. Thing is, I think everybody plays Sonic. And they're like, oh, it's just like Sonic. Look, it's just like Sonic. Oh, I can't figure it out. It's not like Sonic. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's like they, they freak out about all the ways in which it's like Sonic. And then they also freak out about all the ways in which they expect it to be like Sonic, and it's not. And it's like, well, stop being judgmental. Stop having these preconceptions about what it's supposed to be. And just enjoy it for what it is. Come on. It'll land right on your head. Nope. And if you land on these wrong, they'll start moving around on you. Yeah, and if you jump on it too soon, you'll hit right underneath it. Jeez. But, um, yeah, one of the things about making video games and stuff is people will be like, you know, there's Sonic and there's Mario, great games that were made, right? Okay, fine, whatever. 
And then people, they want games to either be be like Sonic or like Mario. People are people even say like, oh, you know, Mario got it right, Sonic got it right, why can't you guys get it right? Yeah. But then if people make a game that's like Sonic or Mario, then all of a sudden it's, oh no, you're copying Sonic and Mario. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this crap. You just fell right through it. It won't let me... Jeez. Well, at least you got it. And now I'm gonna, gonna die. I'm gonna die because he. Guys. Look at that. Look at the bee. He's not gonna come up. He's gonna be down there just at that point. <clears throat> I knew it. I knew it. Oh. Here comes the train music again. Like, like they could have made more music. They could have made more variations of the music. Just have it switch to a minor key or something. You know, it's just the same thing over and over again. Ready to go to the spaceship? Yeah. Wow, well, are you still playing this thing? Farewell to Woolies. Wow, well, are you still playing this thing? All right, so we're gonna pass it over. So this one, you really have to be super careful. The only thing I hate about this one is it's like it is—it's a big maze. But you have to be real careful. They'll throw like cheese wheels down those things when you don't see them. Like you—you'll have no clue. But I'll go to the left. Because there's triggers that you have to hit. <clears throat> you have to hit triggers all the time. Right. Okay. This is something else that got me while I was watching the gameplay through. Uh, there's no way to know what lever does what unless you get up to the spot and realize, oh wait, I need to hit that lever and go back. But this this game isn't quite like that. It's like you hit the lever and you have absolutely no idea what you just did. Yeah. So like, uh... <clears throat> Look right there, they'll throw cheese. Oh! What? See? Like, like, I didn't even have time to react to that. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, like, as soon as you see it at the edge of the corner, like, oh, let's turn back. Like, of course, reaction time is, for humans, is generally, you know, tenth to a twentieth of a second. Even if I had started moving, but look at that. That's not enough time to get out of the way of that. You just gotta know what's there. It's a game of memorization. See that? And the funny thing is, I played this as a kid, and I used to love this stage, and I beat it all the time. Every time I got here, I'd be like, oh, I know exactly where to go. No, I don't remember anything. I thought that was so a now cheese. you gotta peek up to see where he's at. But it's not gonna show you anything. Oh, now he's throwing eggs suddenly. No more cheese. So, so, you, so you might as well just run to the right. Freaking Master Chef's over there. Oh, for crying out loud! Hear the music? It is kinda like Sonic. Dun, 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 dun. It's like uh, it's like that song that at the very end of that Sonic level where he's on board the uh, on board Robotnik spaceship. Yeah. Come on, eggs. Now cheese wheel's gonna hit me. And then that guy's gonna fall down. Actually, yeah. You Hope know what would be a good idea? Huh. Kill everyone you can possibly kill. Yeah. And then, when you die, you won't have to worry about them respawning and coming back. <clears throat> oh, oh, there's see a that? ceiling! See that? Go back down and jump. Look at that. Like, what the heck? Prevents you from doing it. But yet they Luckily, it counted my, my fall. Now go to the left. I'm gonna be dodging eggs here. Wow. This one throws the eggs at you. Get ready to jump. Oh! You're gonna hit the glide button. I gotta glide, that's all. I gotta run to glide. Oh! Wow. Jeez. Look yeah. at that. Now, now, now he's throwing cheese. Now there's gonna be like this crap flying everywhere. I do know later on, like, um, they shoot, start shooting lasers and it gets really, really ridiculous. Go in there and push up. Oh, that's right, okay. Now it's like a big maze, careful. There's just gonna be crap everywhere. See, there's like lava, but you have to go down there. Now how do you get down there? Oh, you have to hit levers. I see. There's someone shooting bu uh, bubbles, so you gotta be careful. You can't jump too high, because you'll hit a bubble. So do the glide. Oh! Hold. But he does it um, constantly. Like there's a, no pattern. One, two, three, four. Well, I guess there is a pattern. You just have to time per so back up. Then, like as soon as you see it appear on screen, run and jump. Jeez. 
Now. Nope, too early. Dang it. No, that's it. That's freaking it. Let's go back to our last save spot. I wonder try if to even... try to stand right next to that, and then yeah, like as soon well, as you it, know what? as soon as it passes, jump and then do a quick jump. But as soon as it gets past that platform, oh, why did I do that? I tried to get in just behind the bullet, and I went in too early. No. Now watch, bam! Something will come. Oh, here we go. Spaceships they travel at zigzaggy figure eights. Look up so you can trigger the screen. There it comes. Now you got a bunch more probably. Oh, there you go and push up. Now careful because you can fall out of there. There, there, there's a kind of like Resident Evil. You kill the guys and they stay gone. Yeah, that's nice. See, there it is. There's a guy down there. Look, he's gonna shoot you. He's gonna shoot you. You didn't even need to go down there. There's nothing down here! What the heck? Oh, will float straight down. It's a fall, far drop. Here? Oh, jeez. Then I'll go kill that and kill that. Nope. Psych! Go to the right and barely trigger him. Yeah, see, there's a trigger right there. Now hit that and keep going. Um, Not here? Yeah, uh, jump straight and go up. I'll go up. Is there, is there nothing over here? You'll get shot, probably. Oh, go that way. Oh, okay. But you gotta be careful, because there are, like, enemies everywhere. Like, don't do that. Go to the left. But there's an enemy, like, right... See? You hit that trigger, and it emptied that room. Mm. So now you have to hit that trigger. Now go to the... Not hit it again. But... See, look at that. And then it won't do it. Now you gotta go to the, to the right, but there's crap flying everywhere. See that? And it's right on the edge, too. So you can land, now peek up so you can... Nope, now they're gone. Until they land on you. Then peek down, make sure there's no eggs flying. Now that they are going to be flying around though, the spaceships. Look at Jeez. that, look at that. So try Sherlock. to um, float and kill those ships. Oh. Ah. Nice. Jeez. All right, now go take a peek back down. Cause don't get too excited, cause something will fly out and hit you. We want to kill us. Okay, go to the right, but careful. See, now you can go and um, go and hit. Hmm. Here? Yeah. All right, this I remember. Okay, hold on. They shoot electricity bolts at you, but it's insane. It's like wham, 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 wham. So you have to like run. And jump and float and hit them, and then like keep like doing that, like bam, bam. No, oh, it just kept zinging me forwards. It's like the camera literally pushed me forwards. That's something we noticed last time. Is like sometimes the camera will Castlevania you into a bad situation. It's yeah, like exactly. why? Stupid. This kind of sounds like Indiana Jones here too. Dun, now you gotta dun, go dun, and hit that trigger. Dun, 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 dun. Jeez, I didn't even notice this over here before. Yeah, you gotta go up. Oh yeah, that's right, you have to go to the left. Over here. Look at, now, now all of a sudden everyone, every, now suddenly there's all sorts of enemies bouncing around. Now time to deal with lightning. It's a lightning bolt on the bottom and a lightning bolt just above it. Knuckles. That first jump you can't glide. The glide slows you down a lot. That's the only problem with the glide. If you're like, oh, we'll take our time and be careful, you glide down and then stuff hits you. See? Oh, careful. There's more, there's more. So you gotta watch it. See? Look at get, Just get on the platform and... Now you might, that's the problem, is you might have to go back down there and hit... So you can get on the platform and slowly glide. So as long as you drop down on the platform, he should not be able to hit you. Now just be careful. 
then do a hold the A and jump over. No, careful, there'll be another guy in there. Wow. Now what, what's... Oh wait, I've been here before. Okay, nothing, so... Let's see, He's look at that. There. So carefully you don't jump into the lightning. Alright, sweet, now just... Whoop. Careful, because the cheese. cheese. So look up, peek up, and trigger the cheese to come down. <laughs> there's, there's one guy up there. So stand right underneath that thing because the cheese will fall down. They're right there, now peek up. See, look there at that. Now watch, now, now, now peek up, see? Now wait till he didn't throws bounce it. off the wall and come back. So you have to peek up, you have to wait for him to throw and then hurry up and go, 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 and then... Do it. I said jump! <clears throat> okay, so as soon as he throws something. it, like... Jeez. Jeez! Now, now be careful, peek around. See, look at that, look at that. Look at now he's like preparing. He's like, look at it's that. Like waiting there. It's glitching. See what it's doing? As soon as you jump, it'll send like 500 cheese wheels after you and you'll die. Careful, here comes more cheese wheels. Peek up. Look at that. Look at that. Lightning bolt, heaven. But what's all the way to the left? Another cheese wheel? Just constantly. Now make sure that you can get, um, go to the left because that's what. What? I knew that would happen. I didn't happen. even hit it! You hit the ceiling and it shoved you up. Because you hit the ceiling, I knew and that was going to happen. it shoved me into the back of the bullet? That's what it did. So you have to um, go like so far to the left where it's just not going to hit you. And then it'll probably... Here's the thing, don't do anything. You'll probably go in here, it'll um, teleport you. As soon as you un-teleport, there'll be crap flying at you. So you're probably going to have to instantly jump as soon as you get there. Look at this cr- oh wow. Oh, checkpoint. So then you go back in there. Endurance round? Probably. Look at- look at that. Now they're putting tax everywhere. You don't need that. Forget that. Give us a life, please? No. Go back- just go in there. Ah. Okay, here we go. Now he's, you know, you're gonna get hit by something from the right, so peek. Kill him. Gun. Now go to the left and peek down to see what's, what idiot's over there. Down, you moron, down! Hmm. So you're gonna have to do a careful glide off the edge and swing into the left. So hold A and then like walk off to the right and then just swing to the left. There's just lava and crap everywhere. I'm gonna no. I'm gonna no. Oh now the other one's gone. What's that? Stupid platform. <laughs> now the spaceship's gone. They do that, they run away and then they'll come back later. And I think they're oh. all gone. Fudge nuggets! Careful, careful. Peek to the left. You I wanna go get to back left. down to see what the heck I missed. You have to hit a trigger and then undo and then melt the... drain the lava. There it is. Now careful, because that spaceship will respawn. You should just be able to... You'll there and carefully you'll get shot by lightning. Stop smirking and look. I always thought it was weird when you're jumping around and like as soon as he hits the ground he's like, yeah! It's like, Cal calm down, focus. Like Sonic stays focused at least for a few more seconds before he actually looks at the camera. Yeah, three minutes left. It's like cheating to the camera the whole time. Alright, so now you're probably gonna have to make this jump. Okay, good, you don't have to. Now careful, they'll shoot, um, bubbles at you. I peek. You might have to- oh, maybe you do get a life. If I remember, you can like jump across and there's somewhere, I believe, you get a, an extra life. <laughs> uh, well, we, I don't know. Should I go down here? Yeah, go down. Look at, look at, look at this! <laughs> Son of a 
of a gun. Then you have a guy throwing eggs to the right. So you, gotta, you have to do one normal jump and then a quick glide jump. Oh, I thought I had it. I'm gonna wait till it's like right over there and I'm gonna jump. He's like, hang on, I'm still landing. I wish you could just unjump. Just go back down again. There we go. Just do a couple practice jumps, you know? Like, I think I can do it. Now we got ships. Oh! I hit the glide button and it didn't. These guys disappeared last time. Look at that. I can't attack him from the side. And then I try to attack him from above, it's like, no. No. No, they're unlocked. Now you have the two lightning bolts. Jump. You have to do a... Usually when you jump over a hole, you can't hit the glide. Because mm -hmm. you'll slow yourself down. Right, because I'll be too slow and I won't be able to react by the time I get over to the other side of the hole. Does it make you mad knowing that um when I was a little kid I could beat this? A little bit. A little bit. Top guy should be alive. Hey, when it looks down and you don't want it to though. What? So I biffed it too many times, so I handed it over to Jake. He's gonna see if he can do it because he could do it ever since he was five years old, apparently. Ten. <laughs> Trying to give you some props. Yeah, like I said before, when I was a little kid, I used to be able to. This is my favorite stage, and I could always play through this game, and I always thought it was super fun. It is, when you do it, it's just, you know, real super hyper adrenaline. Like, I don't know, I come in here after work, and I'm just dehydrated, worn out, I don't... <laughs> but, uh, seriously, I don't know, like, if I was, like, got up first thing in the morning and sat down, I'd be, like, pumped, you know, like, let's do it, let's get... Like, as a kid, I used to do that, you know? It's just like, hyper-adrenaline, you get it, and you get it, you know? Like and then, that? Yeah. Just like adrenaline-powered, super-speed gameplay, and it's like, oh, man, that was awesome. You know, I just can't do that right now, you know? It's just... I did the bubble guy first try. Look at this guy. Just out of practice. I'm out of practice. No wally. Stupid. And right on it. The heck? Just points. Now I gotta deal with lightning bug. Another one. Unbelievable. Look at that. Freaking glitch. Now how do I get rid of that? Oh, we don't. <sighs> oh, I'll let you jump through the floor that time. It's gonna create a cheese wheel. It's, it's rolling out. Look at, look at, look how fast he's going now. The heck? It discovered you were playing. That's why. It's like, oh, we got here this fast. Let's uh, let's up the ante. Hurry up. This part of the music reminds me of over Overdrawn at the Memory Bank. Then I'll hit the ceiling right here. I'll mm -hmm. jump and hit mm -hmm. that, and it'll knock you right into a laser bolt. Way better than I did. You're already at the exclamation point. Oh, okay, different one. The 
this is it, pointless stuff you don't even need. Yeah. Oh, I want points. <laughs> Completely stupid. Yeah. Oh, a cheese wheel rolling up, huh? Now you gotta figure out what's over here. See, because you can hold the A button and just... Oh, you hold it and then you fall off the edge. Yeah. I don't even know why. Bam, lightning bolt. See, I hate that light. And then you'll fall down, then there'll be a guy right there shooting me. Yeah, there's a switch over here, wasn't there? Or a teleport teleporter, I think. teleporter, but I wanted to see what was down, and last time you were here, you got killed. Yeah. There. That's the guy. Something got me. I don't remember. <laughs> two lives. lives. That's where the two lives were. I knew there was... Not that you're gonna need them. At least it's right there. Yeah, the laser bolts and the other guy at the same time. Yeah, you just got your checkpoint, so... Man. One after another after another. When you can't jump too high, you'll get hit by... I think I'm at the end. Look at this. At least I killed them. So. Yeah, just sitting right through. Yep, I forgot. You gotta. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm right at the bad guys now. Polly and Esther. <laughs> Polly and Esther. So, Polly and Esther, I'm two headed alien. Yeah. Well, thank you. If I remember, I used Spikes. to. Spikes! I used to beat the, the alien. Oh, what? Do you have invincibility right on spikes, isn't it? No. That's just the background, huh? I used to beat this person really easy. If I remember right, all I had to do was this. Look. No, I don't remember now. I used to do really, really good, though. Like, I could beat him. Just do the same thing as you did on the other one? Yeah, but, like, it was, like, ten times easier. <laughs> that really looks like spikes right there. Like I used to just, and then... He, it's pushing me into him. There huh. we go. Well. But that was weird, like I'm hitting him and it was pushing me into his body. Weird. Do you see that? It was like pushing me through his head into his body. So I would have had to... I win. I guess you helped. Thanks, Bubsy. There he goes. He won. I don't know what this is about. Alright, so, Bubsy. <sighs> Sega Genesis. Yeah. What'd you think? It's a good game, you know. I, I It's fun. It's kind of like Sonic. It's kind of like uh, Taz and Tasmania in the, in the Goes to Mars or whatever that was. Escape from Escape Mars. Escape from Mars. It's, you know, I, I like it. It's, you know, nostalgic. It reminds me of a lot of games I used to play. It's frustrating, though. It is difficult. But a lot of good games are, you know. Otherwise you don't feel like you're beating anything worthwhile, you know? And you gotta get used to the controls, like, um, mm -hmm. you know, when you were on the ship, mm -hmm. like, how long did that take you? I don't know, I was probably on there for, the, like, 30 minutes. <laughs> Maybe longer. Yeah, but um, then, 
But like I said, you know, I played it and I went through it. Why? Because I'm used to the control. I'm, That's true. I'm used to like, it. Like, as a kid, I would have been playing a lot longer in order to get to that point than what we were. You know, I don't know, I feel like as an adult, you know, I, I might play through the entire game a lot faster, but that also means that I've gotten in less playing hours in order to get to that point. Like, as Sonic, you don't have save levels. You have to play through the entire game in order to get to the end. So by the time you get to the end, you're like a super awesome player. You know, with, with me, with this, it's, uh, you know, you, uh, second time I ever played the game, you know, trying to get through the end is I haven't developed enough skills. But I usually find I'm better, too, when I take a break and I come back to it, you know. It's like getting all that exercise, all that practice, and then, get, then taking a break gives it time for, like, that that information to install so you can come back and finish playing and all of a sudden you're a great player you know? yeah um yeah like it you know i like the game i played it all um, all the time as a kid thought it was pretty fun and uh you know like what you said you know as an adult you play through it and get through it a little bit quicker but then you like yeah. you know you die when you're a kid you know you spend more times on the first few levels and then you know you're playing it you know you're spending 50 bucks on these back in the 90s now yeah. how much was this game you know all 50 bucks yeah so of course you're gonna make sure you play it a lot but Definitely. um you know like i said people give this game a lot of gripe they hate it i understand certain parts about it yeah but it's like most what people complain about they complain about the stuff they shouldn't complain about they complain about fall damage and then they refuse to use the glide. Yeah. Like, stupid. Yeah, that's that's retarded because that's not how... Just enjoy the game for what it is. Stop trying to make it Sonic, you know? Oh, there's fall damage. It's not like Sonic. Oh, well, too bad. You know what? Oh, look at these enemies. It's just like Sonic. Oh, just something to complain about, you know? Yeah. They, no um, pleasing some people. Yeah, they complain because it's not like Sonic, and then they complain because it's too much like Sonic. Yeah. You know, people are trying to do make different games so they're not copycatting, you know, yeah. other stuff, but yeah. whatever. Um, I like the game. I believe the game you can pick up, you know, cart only, pretty cheap, like three bucks. <laughs> it's about what it's worth. Yeah. So, is it worth three bucks? Yeah, I think. I might even pay five bucks just to get the game and finally play through and beat that, that end part, you know. I'm hoping to maybe find that at some game store somewhere. Yeah, pretty cool. And you can do a lot of... Um, exploring around, you know, go all the way down and run through a level, go all the way up yeah. top, go through a level, go through the level in the middle. There's a lot of different ways to do it. It almost seems like very open world, you know. You have a beginning and you have an end, but you can take, like, any route you want. It's not like Sonic in that respect where there's only, like, certain paths you have to go through. And uh, the yarn balls, that's pretty stupid. They don't do anything for you. Yeah. Um, they're pretty stingy with the lives and they hide them, you know, but although it's not a bad game. Um, the amount of time I believe it takes to beat, well, I totally forgot to mention um, how long it took to beat WrestleMania. Oh, really? I, but um, it, it took it us take? about an hour okay. to beat that one. It was pretty much the length of the video. We didn't cut too much out. Yeah, so. Yeah. But this game, um, if you go through and play it without dying, like if you're a um, pretty decent gamer, it's about an hour and a half. <clears throat> Plus, you know, playing, it took us, I think, like a little over three hours. Yeah, it, so. mostly because of me. Like, I do a lot of exploring crap, and I'm just, like, not paying attention to the stupid cheese wheels rolling down or something, you know? Yeah. But, um, otherwise, not a bad game. Bubsy, yeah. pick it up. Quit listening to all the garbage that everyone is saying about how bad and how stupid it is. Because, like cool I said game. before, most of the people who say, oh, it's a bad, stupid game, they probably barely even played the first five minutes. Yeah. And then they complain and cry about it. I think it's kind of interesting that it says, like, introducing Bubsy in... Uh, cause encounters of the third kind. Like, like we're supposed to know Bubsy, <laughs> and this is just one adventure that he's in. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's still kind of fun. Like, they really tried to hype that character, and I think it would have been a good go if the critics hadn't killed it, you know? Yeah, definitely. Like, everyone wants to hop on the bandwagon. But, but um, otherwise, other than that, that's Bubsy. Yeah, pretty enjoyable. So, um, whatever. I'm Janitor Jake. And Chris Cabellas. Uh, thanks for watching.